Good morning from your best car in Kent. My name is Ben. I'm from one of our two UK branches. We're here in Cranbrook, 10 miles outside of Tunbridge Wells, or just a 40 minute train commute from London. Our other site is in Buckinghamshire near Marlow, and combined we have over 600 five star reviews. So please check out our website to see the reviews of our happy customers and, of course, the rest of our fleet. Before I get into the walk around, I'd just like to answer two of the most frequently asked questions that we get here. And they are, do we take part exchanges and do we offer finance? The answers are both yes and yes. We will take your part exchange. We can even pay off outstanding finance on your current car. Then on top of that, I'm thrilled to say that we are industry beating with our low APR finance rate. So if finance is the route for you, then please get in contact with us or you can visit our website, yourbestcar.co.uk, where we have a finance calculator at the bottom of every advert. So whether it's PCP or HP that you're looking for, you can put in some numbers, adjust the filters, you can find something that works for you, and then there'll be a finance breakdown of the contract before you hit apply. So this is the walk around video for our VW Golf GTD presented in Indian gray metallic paint. This is on a 2019 registration. So as you may have already known, this is the Mark 7 facelift, otherwise known as the Mark 7.5. In our opinion, it's the most desirable generation of the Golf, whether it's the GTI, the GTD or the GTE. Uh, it comes with all of the best specification and in my opinion, looks the best. It's a Euro 6 compliant car with a two litre diesel engine producing 184 brake horsepower and equally as impressive, capable of achieving up to 70 miles per gallon. It comes with full service history. It was recently serviced, MOT'd and had a vehicle health check in February 2023 and has come out with a full bill of health. We've got privacy glass to complement the Indian grey paintwork. So a slight tint to the windows from the B pillar backwards, black window surrounds, black side skirts, and then my favorite part on the outside, the upgraded and unmarked 19 inch diamond cut Bressier alloy wheels. Now, what do I mean by unmarked? There's no signs of curbing, there's no scuffs, no scratches on any of these alloys. So they, they're all in fantastic condition and they look just like this one in front of you now. So let's have a hop inside. We've got the Jakara cloth seats. You might've seen these in the other VW uh, products. They're extremely popular. They've got a manual adjustment and they can be heated. The driver then has a leather wrapped multi-function steering wheel for the digital dash just behind. You've got your paddle shifters for switching it into your manual mode. You've got adaptive cruise control, your voice control, multimedia and hands-free buttons all fitted to the steering wheel. But then in the middle is your in-car entertainment system. This is the upgraded touchscreen uh, as this is the Mark 7 facelift. So you've got an entire touchscreen user interface and I'll show you some of the features on here now. So let's have a sit inside. I'm gonna shut the door so nothing beeps at us. We've got keyless uh, start just down here. So let's turn that on. There we go. So let's turn the volume down. As I said, we've got an entire touchscreen user interface, you've got your sub menus on the left and right hand side, which are also touch. And let's go through them now. So we've got radio, FM, AM and DAB, and then you've got your station list down here. Uh, your other multimedia, we can click this button here, click source down here, and we've got Bluetooth, uh, we've got USB, your SD card, CD card, uh, CD play, I should say. Um, so you can connect up your phone, you can play your music, you can also connect up via USB. And then if you have an Apple product or an Android product that has Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, you can connect up via USB and use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. And you can see in the photos I've connected up my phone. It's great that it's touchscreen because it's really accessible. It takes up the entire screen, uh, a big plus with the Mark 7 uh, facelift. You can also use Bluetooth to connect up your phone so you can have your phone book on here. You can make calls, take calls. You can also use the buttons on the steering wheel, but you can keep your phone tucked away. Everything will be stored on this in-car entertainment display. Navigation, so if you haven't got a smartphone, don't worry, you've still got navigation built in and you can see you've got all of your sub menus at the bottom. You can save your favorites, you've got your points of interest. And then a big perk of it being touchscreen is you can move it around, you can pinch and zoom. 
you can see your points of interest here, but the main thing is you can see just how responsive this screen is. Apps, so this will just show you that you've got Android Auto, Apple CarPlay and Mirror Link. And then you've got some additional settings uh, in car and menu. If you put the car into reverse, as I've just done down here, we can see the reverse and camera, a big upgrade on this car, uh, front and rear parking sensors as well. And then as we turn the steering wheel, we can see the guidelines will move as well. So back into park, down here are our climate controls. We've got our middle dial here, the intensity, and then left and right hand side to dual zone climate control to adjust the temperature on the left and right. A max AC button, great for the winter, except great for the summer, and then our max uh, windscreen button too. What is great for the winter is the heated seat button. So you've got an intensity of three for both sides. And then down here, as I've just shown you, your DSG uh, automatic gearbox. You've got your various driving modes on the left-hand side. So you've got your sport, normal, uh, eco. Eco will help you uh, on the motorway driving, helping you to achieve that 70 miles per gallon. At the moment, we just, we just keep it normal. Then you can turn off your traction. You can turn off your automatic start, stop. Um, like I said, your keyless start button there. Your electronic handbrake with auto hold. So maybe if you sit in the traffic or um, you have traffic lights on a slight hill, you can turn this on and you can take your foot off the brake and that will hold you in place. So let's turn off the electrics and we'll have a look at the rest of the car. So we've got the exact same seats upholstery back here. The Jakara cloth seats we've got the original floor mats down here two air vents back here and although this is a hot hatch you've got plenty of room plenty of headroom and leg room back here moving round to the rear we can see the privacy glass extends to the rear pane you've got the gloss black trims uh, on the side as well let's just give you a look at the rear our gtv badge on the left hand side and then we can open the boot like so Parcel shelf is included, and then we've got all of this roof space back here. Under this compartment here is our spare wheel, our jack, our locking wheel nut is in the front. And you can also use this area as an extended storage if you wish. If you do need a little bit more room in the back of your Golf, you can fold down the rear seats by pressing the button on the shoulder of either side. You can see in the photos what this looks like with both sides down, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to uh, collapse that. And it will give you a load more space back here. And then we can close it again like so. So if you're interested in buying the Golf, you can give us a call on 01580 712 or send us an email to sales at yourbestcar.co.uk. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we take part exchanges, we offer finance. So if either of those options intrigue you, then please do let us know. We're all accessible on WhatsApp or iMessage, so if you need to message us on those platforms, then please do. Um, we're happy to talk about cars all day. You might have some questions about our car or you need to know some details, some service history information on your part exchange. Whatever's easier for you, then uh, please feel free to do that. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video and best of luck with your search for a new car.